So we're going to do a little bit of maintenance. Uh, we're going to do an oil change on the car. Um, I just got regular oil, so I'm going to try to stop those leaks. Um, I got 10W40. We're going to try that this time. I also got some more antifreeze. Um, I've got uh, a bottle of um, distilled water so I can treat that just so I have some. It was getting down towards the minimum level uh, for it. And then I am going to do the oil on my Santa Fe as well. Um, and then my Christmas present from my wife arrived. It is the leather wrapping for the steering wheel. So we're going to try to put that on. We'll try to do that ourselves as well, because once again, this is all about trying to do the stuff yourself. Um, I wasn't going to try to wrap the steering wheel myself. I mean, just like the headliner and all that, decided to get a kit for it. So um, those are a few things we're going to work on. All right, so this weekend, we are going to try to do a few things. We are going to try to change the oil. We are going to get the windshield washer reservoir out. Um, we are going to try to adjust the headlights. And if you notice up on my list, my fuel sending unit is back on it because it's acting up again. So I got to pull it and hopefully get it fixed and stay fixed. Um, so that's that. So the first thing I think we're going to do is we're going to, uh, jack up the car so we can get to, uh, the oil drain plug. Well, got the fuel sending unit out and some real bad news. The wire broke. So that means that needs to be replaced. And the worst news is... That's the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see it. Because of the light. Let's see. You can see the bottom of it sitting in the bottom of my tank. So I got to get that out somehow. I don't know how. Because as I was pulling it out, it got stuck on there and popped the, uh, popped the screw loose. And that fell to the bottom. So I got to figure out how to deal with that. Well, thank God I got that out. So now at least it's out. Um, so the wire basically just came off that little post right there. So there's that one, and then there's that one, and that's the one that it came off of right there. So I think I'm going to clean this up. There's enough wire there to get back down, and I'm going to try to just solder that on and see what happens. But I'm going to clean this up, try to get the gas off of it as much as I can before I do that. But I don't know. Um, otherwise, I'll just have to order one, which is not making me very happy right now. Um... But at least the low fuel level should work still. Um, just not the actual level itself. But, um, and then I've got to see if I can find a nut that will fit on that. I don't have many nuts sitting around here. But we'll have to see. And then we could try to put it back together and put it back in. And if I have to order one, I need it in there anyway to cover up the, the, uh, the, the gas. So we'll just do that. So just so you know how I got this out, if it ever happens to you, I had a pair of these, right? I got this over the hole that's in the tank that goes down to where the strainer and all that is. So half of this was over the hole. I was able to get this and just clip it and pull it up and out. So luckily I was able to see that. It didn't float to the other side of the tank, but um, it's out. 
The only thing that isn't is the screw. I have no idea where that is, but that shouldn't matter. Hopefully that uh, worst case scenario would end up in the pump. Um, but it's, the strainer is new, so it shouldn't matter for that, hopefully, theoretically. But I, I couldn't see the couldn't see the screw down in there. But maybe I'll look a little more once I have some time. But at least that's out. All right, so we got the windshield washer reservoir out. Uh, two bolts, got to have the headlights up. And it <coughs> comes out through the bottom. But there's uh, one bolt here. This is where the fender is. And then there's one over there. Uh, these are what the bolts look like. This one just snapped when I started turning, so I got to replace it. No big deal. Um, but can't really see. There's fluid all through here. The leak is coming right from there, right in this corner. So let's see if I... You'd see it moving. So that's where it was leaking out of. I'll check other spots, but it was right on there. So I'm hoping that I can just seal that up. I'll clean this up. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to hydrogen peroxide it and make it look white, but I'll definitely clean it up and, uh, you know, clean up the inside the best I can too. That way I can switch stuff around since I got it out and everything. And then just seal right there. Because you can see where it's blue too. That's what's dried from it draining out. Um, so, yeah. And then we'll go ahead and get it back in. We'll go ahead and get it back in. Um, I did not have a nut small enough for that. So I'm going to have to see if I can find one somewhere and see if I can repair it. Um, we'll have to do that tomorrow. But I think for now, I'm going to lower the car back down um, and uh, finish putting the oil in and then figure out what I'm going to do with this. I guess I'll just take this apart and just uh, do something, just set it aside for now. But um, yeah, so with the exception of the fuel sending unit, I mean, everything's went fairly smoothly today. All right, so we got the motor out. Uh, oil is filled. Uh, good news on the oil. There was nothing on the plug as far as metal shavings go. There was nothing in the oil. Um, and the oil looked just like oil. I mean, it looked a little dirty, but it looked just like oil. There was no foam like... Anything is mixing with any of the antifreeze, so I wouldn't think so since I put new oil coolers uh, seals on and there's a new head gasket on there. So I would suspect that nothing would be going on with that. Um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to order a new sending unit. I'm not going to deal with trying to fix it, but I do have to find... A screw for the end of this so as you can hear the float still moves up and down in there so I need to at least put this back in one to seal that hole back there and two at least when it drops down to the bottom my low fuel light should come on um, I don't know if it will or not because I haven't gotten down that low um, and there's plenty of fuel in the tank but at least I can get that back in there but I have got to get a screw for that. I guess, you know, I, I don't know what else I could do, but um, in order for me to get that back in, I've got to screw that down. Um, and hopefully the screw stays this time. So, yep, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do uh, tomorrow. So, and tomorrow we'll, I've got the... Uh, Washer fluid reservoir draining right now. We'll work on cleaning that. We'll get that back in the car. We'll get one ordered. We'll get the washer fluid reservoir sealed. And then, you know, oh, I got to do the headlights too. 
The headlights are going to be tough because I really don't have a wall. I guess I could pull it in on this side and put it up against here and get some cardboard or something. Um, get it back as far as I can. It won't be 100% level, but at least it'll be better than better than nothing because um, I think they're completely and totally out of whack. So um, that definitely has to be done. But as far as tonight goes, um, yep. So when I jack this side of the car up, my car is all crooked now. This You'll see better on this side. Because this side slid, the front slid this way when it was up on the jack, when I was jacking it up. And then you can see my windshield, it's going to need to be replaced. The crack is just getting worse. Every time I drive it, it gets worse, and eventually it'll be right in your way. So i got to get that done, too. Um, but the fuel sending unit, I've got to get done at least back in there and then get one ordered. So that's it for tonight. So I realized I went ahead and ordered a new one. I realized that there's a metal piece on the end too. That was still in the tank. Luckily, it's magnetic, which is interesting. Because the tube is not. So that made it really easy to get that out, but found that kind of interesting so I'm glad I I thought about that because that was in there as well so that's out now all right so we soldered this on Let's see if you can see it see if I can focus on it somehow so I went ahead and soldered that wire back on we'll take a look and see Guess what? I think it fixed it. At least it's reading something. So here we are out for our drive. The car is fun to drive. Oil pressure looks really good. Everything seems to be pretty good. So I got to stop filming so I can shift. Nice day. It snowed a little, a little white, not much, but a little. So here we go. We're going to up on the highway. All right. So we're going to go ahead and clean this up. I am thinking I'm kind of looking around it. So that blue is where the uh, wiper fluid was leaking out of right there in that corner there. Um, so I didn't really see it anywhere else. Obviously it needs to be above above here because this was filled with fluid so it started here that's the lowest point so i kind of looked along the seams and everywhere else to see if i could see any blue and i don't so i'm thinking that's the only spot so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start cleaning this up uh just with some of the, the purple power and scrub brush and just kind of clean it up and then we will uh clean off the uh inside as well with some hot water inside all right so it's cleaned up really well actually look at that not too shabby um so i have filled it with hot water just to kind of clean off the inside and then check for leaks in other places once again right in that corner you can see it's leaking i don't think it's leaking from anywhere else I'll have to check the other side. But right there. That's where it's coming out. So we will have to uh we'll have to fix that corner. Alright, there we go. All cleaned up. Actually cleaned up really, really well. I'm very happy with that. So we're gonna dry it off and we're gonna work on that little corner right there. I'm gonna see what we can do as far as trying to get that sealed up. I have a feeling you know what I'm gonna do. That's right, my flex seal. I'll have to decide what I wanna try for my flex seal. So, 
we are gonna do that next. And right, let's take a little bit closer look. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not, but you can see there's a crack right there. See it right here? So that's what it is. So that's what's causing the leak and we'll get that crack, crack filled in. All right, so we just took some of the flex shot and put it on there and then I kind of I kind of pushed it down and into the crack as well to help try to seal it. Um, and it says to let it cure for 24 to 48 hours. So I'll just leave it out. And uh, then we'll we'll test it. We'll test it in a few days and see uh, see what happens. So I guess you'll find out next week what happened, but I think it cleaned up really well, and I think the inside cleaned up pretty good, too. It was pretty nasty and dirty in there. Still see some some junk in there, but not nearly as bad as it was. Not too worried about how clean the bottom of it looks, you know. This is the part that you see up here, and I think that cleaned up really well. So, all right. So I adjusted my headlights. I took the cases off. Um, I have my board there. So the headlights, the best I could do, I had to pull it out, but headlights were about 27 inches, the center of them, about 27 inches off the ground. And I've looked and I've heard that you take about a third of that off, put a piece of tape, I just drew a line. So I drew a line at 18 inches, set it up, pulled the car out, uh, went back. I think it was like 12, 15 feet, forgot what it was. And adjusted, but it was interesting. These LEDs, there were three lines coming across. So I just put the center line in. So I think what I'll do is tonight, um, after it gets dark, I might take it out and just drive it on some darker roads and see if the lighting is any better. Um, and then pull into the driveway. As you can see, my driveway is not flat, but it's close and get them up against the against the doors um, to see how it is. But I definitely had to put them down. That one I brought in um, because I was getting flashed a lot. So I think that one was pointing up and out. Um, not to mention I could see like the light shining on the, on the signs way up here versus, you know, when the, the beam's supposed to be down there. So I think they definitely need to be adjusted maybe a little more we'll have to wait and see um but yep so we'll work on that and then i'll put the cans back on <laughs> 